In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and customize a standard page and how to add an external link page. So let's get started. So if you remember from my previous videos, I've already created an About Us page for my cupcake company. So in this video, I'm going to recreate that and also customize it further. After you've logged into the editor, choose Add Page and Add Standard Page. And right here, what you type in is what your visitors will see on the main menu. You can create that. To access the toolbar, you just click to edit the main content. And now you can use all these icons up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose the layout for my content. So I'm going to choose this one right here. And in this area, you can type in whatever you want. But what I'm going to do is copy and paste some text that I wrote earlier, just to save some time. I'm going to save that. OK. So now we can edit the text, just like with any word processor. Um, you can use these icons up here. I'm going to change the font of the main content. And I think I'll change the font color of the title. And also, maybe I'll make that thicker. So our designers have specially chosen these fonts and these font colors um, just to match the themes of the templates. And if you do want to revert back to the original formatting, you can do that just by highlighting what you want to change back and choosing this icon that looks kind of like it has a big X on it to remove the formatting. And now you've got your original font. So I'm going to add some images now. And you can upload your own images, or you can use some of our stock images. So I'm going to go and choose this little portrait icon here and insert an image. I'm going to see if we can find an image of Auntie. Here she is, and there are some uncles in the back. And let's use the image and update. And I want to add another image. So let's just save to see what that looks like. Get back into it. So I can do that. I can reformat that too. We can put in a new image just by choosing that portrait icon again. And I'm going to use a stock image again. This time I want to see if I can put a cupcake photo in there. So, like that one. Use the image and insert. So, you can realign this image um, in two ways um, using these aligners up here, or you can right click on it and use this little tool right here to choose what you want. So I'm going to realign it there. I'm going to save that, see what it looks like. And I'm liking it so far. Now one more thing is I'm going to show you how to upload a file right on the page so that your visitors can download the file. And you could upload like PDF or doc files. And we support a lot of other file extension types. So what I'm going to do is choose this little icon that looks like a piece of paper page and writing. Um, I'm going to upload a, uh, a file, but I've already done that, so I'm just going to skip that step. And now I'm going to choose that and insert it. And I'm just inserting a little downloadable um, cupcake story PDF file. And what you write in here is what is what your visitors will see. So. so this is what it will look like on your page right here. So now I'm pretty much done with this main, main content area. I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to show you how to customize the images right on your template. And I'm going to show you how you can do that right on this page. 
So you can see that you can click these images here. I'm going to click that just to change the image. And we're going to use a stock image, but you can upload your own, of course. Let's see if we have some more cupcake images. And I'm going to use that. So here you can choose whether you want to apply this to all the pages on the template, or you can just apply it to this page. So I'm going to apply it just to this page. And that's what your standard page looks like. So that's pretty much it for the standard page. Now I'm going to show you um, how you can add an external link page. And basically what happens when you add an external link page is that you'll be able to see, your visitors will be able to see a link right on the menu that they can click on. And it will take them to an external site um, on another window or tab. So I'm going to do that by adding a page and add external link. And what I'm going to add is website.com. Oops, got to add the URL right in this area here. You might want to copy and paste it. And so now we're going to see what that looks like by clicking on another page to look at the menu. So there's your external link. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to like us on Facebook to get more updates. And if you have any more questions or comments, feel free to talk to us at website.com.